Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to be doing a smoky eye Valentine's Day tutorial. I did a lot of glitters and I did black and some pinks and everything and I kind of just did it with like a new pink lip. Um, this was, I put up a vote on my Facebook page and I had two different looks for you guys to choose from and I had the same amount of votes on both and I also had a lot of votes for both. <laughs> so I just decided to go ahead and do this. So this is the first one that I'm doing for this one. I have one more that will be coming out and this more of a bright, more of a pink eye with a uh, cat eye. So this one is going to be your smoky, your more sexy look. It just depends. One thing that I found in my vote, which I thought was really funny, was that when I put up these, because I even had um, votes on Snapchat, and I had a lot of guys that also voted. The guys went for the smoky eye, like this one, whereas the ladies went for the brighter eye. I did think that that was funny, and it seemed like it was a trend, so I don't know if there's something to do with that, if maybe guys just like a smoky eye on a girl if it's more sexy to them or what. I have no idea. So anyways, um, this is the look that I did for today. So if you guys learn how to achieve this look, then just stay tuned. Alright guys, so I have already done my foundation, I've done my highlighting and my contouring and done my eyebrows and I have primed my eyes. I primed my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. This one will leave a matte finish for you on your eyes, especially, this is great for people like me who have a lot of freckles on their eyes and it really helps to uh, you know, act as a foundation because I find that if you use a foundation or a concealer on your eyelid, I tend to crease really bad because my mobile lid is very small and it folds almost completely completely back so I have a problem with creasing this stuff is amazing for that so I let that sit I also set it with a translucent powder to also help for more creasing and then I always do that before I do my eyebrows that way it has time to settle it has time to sit and if it's going to crease to go ahead and let it do some creasing until then that way I can just kind of rub it out okay so um today I'm going to be doing the blacks and pink and glitter smoky eye it is going to be dramatic I'm going to be using a couple different palettes so just work with me so the first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to use is my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette and I'm gonna use the color Password. It's this one right here. It's a gray color. I'm gonna go in with my MAC 224 brush. This is a soft dome shaped brush. It's very fluffy. This one is one of my favorite it's just for me to uh, establish my transition colors and my crease. So I'm gonna take that brush, I'm gonna take that color Password I'm going to make sure I knock off my brush a little bit and then I'm just going to start right here in the crease and I'm just going to start blending a little bit. You can do circle motions, windshield wiper motions. I don't know, you guys like see my hair flying in the wind but it's hot in here so I had to turn my fan on. Now I'm going to go back in with a black. And the color that I want to use, I don't want to use the black that's in the smoky palette because it is a shimmer and I don't want to do too much shimmer because I'm going to be using a lot of glitter on my lid and I don't want to be like a disco ball on my eyes. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe palette. This is in the 35N and I'm going to go with one of these black colors down here. They're just a matte finish. There's there's no, um, this one has a little bit of sheen to it, but not very much, but you can see it's also a little bit lighter. But this one right here, it's a matte finish. And so I'm gonna use that one, and I'm gonna grab um, a, that same brush. I'm gonna grab just a little bit. I don't wanna do too much. And I'm gonna start right here in the outer corner, and I'm just gonna slowly start to pack it in right there. And then I'm gonna start to blend it into the crease. Can also bring it down because we're going to do that outer corner a little bit too with the black and then just blend it now if you want you can also use a little bit of a smaller blending brush like the mac 217 brush um, or the mac 221 this one is bigger but it just it gives a, a soft blending effect so that's why i'm going to use it on this one for right now I probably will go back in in a few minutes with my other one to get more of a defined crease. Now 
Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my MAC 217 brush. This is another blending brush. It is a um, little bit stiffer, it's more coarse, and it's made from goat hair. So I like to use this one to blend out harsh lines. So I'm going to start in the outer corner here, and I'm just going to start blending this because I really want to soften this up. We don't want to look like we got punched in the eye. So at this point, I'm going to go back in with that same 217 brush. And I'm going to be using this hot pink color here in my Morphe palette. It's a very pretty pink. As you can see there, uh, it's just very Valentine's Day, and so that's why I decided to use this color. So I'm going to go uh, with that brush, and I'm just going to take some on my product, make sure I dab off any excess. And I'm going to go right here and start sweeping this. Next, I'm going to be using the same palette. I'm going to go with this light color here. It's just the lightest color that's in the palette. There is no shimmer to it. It is a matte finish. And I'm going to go right up under, or right up, right under the brow bone, but right on top of that hot pink, and I'm going to start blending that. I do also bring this light color a little bit in here and a little bit on this outer corner just to soften that up because it is very close to the skin tone so it's not going to completely mess us up. So the next thing that I'm going to use is this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and um, this is in the color Cottage Cheese. Sounds kind of gross doesn't it right? It's just a, I mean, it does have a sheen tint to it but it's just a white coat and it's pretty cool because it draws on and it acts as a good basis if you're wanting to do a really bright color on your eyelid. And um, I'm going to be packing some glitter pigment on. So this is going to act as my basis to hold it and give it something to stick to. So I'm going to take this and put it on my lid here. So it's going to look a little messy at first and that's okay because we're going to go in and blend out some more black when we're done. So this is the NYX glitter pigment that I'm going to be using. I saw this and I was like, yes girl, I need that in my life. So this is the color Crystal because it looks like a crystal ball. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. So it comes with like holes in it like this and you just, you pour it out into your cap. There's already some in there as you guys can see. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit more in there to make sure I have it. I'm going to grab some artificial tears. This is like Visine. It's just, not, and I know this sounds crazy, but if you will take it and a flat stiff brush to pack on base. So this is the MAC 242. What I do is I will kind of just, some people will spritz it with like Max Fix Plus. Um, what I do, I have a towel laying here, and so I just drip one drop on the towel, and then I go ahead and just dab my brush in it so that I get it wet. So it's a little wet there, you can see on the tip. I will go in, and I will pick up this pigment. And what it does is it makes it stick to your brush a little bit more. And then I'm just going to start packing this where I want it on the lid. And I'm going to bring this up right here to my artificial crease that I had made. Oh, you see that? So pretty. I mean, what girl doesn't love glitter? If you don't, you need to go get yourself checked. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with a little bit more hot pink and I want to pink this up a little bit more and then I'm going to go in after that with black and I will start to define and smoke it out just a little bit. So I'm going to use that same hot pink color of that Morphe palette and I'm going to use that MAC 224 brush that we had earlier and I'm just going to go right here in the crease over that black. And I know some of you are probably wondering why I did it this way, but if you look, you can still see that the background under that pink is still darker. It's still darker than it would have been if we would have went straight in with the pink without doing the black first. 
and it's going to help to blend better whenever I do my defining black here in just a few minutes. Now I'm going to use my MAC 221. Make sure that I have that wiped off and that it's clean. I'm going to use that same black that I used earlier out of that Morphe palette. I'm going to make sure that I clean and shake off my brush. Just start right here. And I'm going to kind of establish that outer V just a little bit. And then I'm going to start blending it into the crease. Grab a little bit more as you need it. Just make sure that you grab a little at a time. That way you can build it up. Because once it's on, it's on and you can't do much with it. But I'd rather you be able to build and blend. And so I am going to leave that there. take that MAC 217 brush and I'm going to just blend this black just a little bit more just so I don't have any harsh lines so now I'm going back in with my MAC 242 brush I'm going to be grabbing any kind of white shimmer normally I would not do a shimmer I would do a matte finish white but because this is a dramatic look, I'm going to go dramatic. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be using the color Ice Clean by Makeup Geek. It is a very beautiful white shimmer pigment. Uh, pigment. It's very pigmented. I'm sorry, it's not a pigment. So I'm just going to grab a little bit on the tip of my brush. Just like that. I'm going to put it right under my arch here. I pack it on and then I'm going to start blending it out. a little bit there into my inner duct. Next I'm going to be using my MAC 219 pencil brush. So I'm like this. I'm going to use this to do my eyeliner underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go in with that same black that I did with my Morphe palette. Make sure I shake all the excess off, and I'm going to start at the very outer corner here, and I'm going to start smudging. Another tip whenever you're doing under eye eyeshadow like this, you want to make sure that whenever you dip this into the eyeshadow that you dip it straight down and you just get it on the very tip that way whenever you're applying this it doesn't get so messy and come down further because if you get it all on the sides it's gonna just like come down and it's gonna look scary you like look like the Joker or something so do the same thing on the other side now I'm gonna go with that same silky eye palette we used from Urban Decay earlier and I'm gonna use this color right here it is called smolder it's a very, uh, it looks almost dark on camera, but really it's a purple. It's like a, a dark purple. It's right next to their black in that palette. And I'm going to grab just a little bit and I'm going to go over the top of the middle. I'm going to start right here in the middle. And I'm going to start blending this a little bit more and bring it in a little bit further. I don't want to do too much, but I just want to blend this out and bring it in but I don't want to do all black now I'm going to use the same palette the same smoky palette and I'm going to use this one right here it's just a glitter it's like a silver color and it is called armor and I'm going to make sure I shake this off and I'm going to put this right here on the inner portion and 
and start blending a little bit more. I mean, why not use the glitter, right? Because we can. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is grab the color Combust and that same palette. It's this one right here. It's just a flesh tone color. It's a lighter one. I'm going to grab a little bit and I'm going to go right underneath all of that and I'm just going to kind of clean this up a little bit. Now I'm going to use my eyeliner. You guys know that I like to use the Rimmel London. Uh, this is just a waterproof black eyeliner and I'm going to put this in my waterline right here. Then I'm going to also put it on my upper lash line and the waterline. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. All right, so now we have, we're getting pretty smoky now. It looks, so, I love it. Now I am going to do a little bit of gel liner on my upper lid. I'm going to use the Maybelline Studio, the Eye Studio. This stuff is so good, y'all, and it's just, it's cheap and you, you can't beat it. And for the brush, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques. This is the Real Techniques 202 brush. This is by far my favorite gel liner eye brush ever. It's just, it's angled, it's stiff, it just, I absolutely love it. So I'm not going to do a wing. If you want to do a wing, you're more than welcome to, but I feel like that this is already a very dramatic look with all of the glitter that we have. So I'm just going to do a normal line across. This is gonna act as a basis for, um, if you wanted to do false eyelashes or anything like that, and it just kind of helps to smoke it out a little bit more. It's so hard to do when you're half blind. I do wear glasses, so um, today I am not wearing contacts. So I'm really having to like <laughs> struggle to see what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Um, at this point, if you guys wanted to, if you want a very dramatic look, then I would definitely suggest to put on some false eyelashes. Uh, whatever kind that you want are, uh, would be awesome. Um, I just don't like them that much, personally. I feel like with this mascara, and I already have pretty long lashes, like I don't really need them. And with this look being so dramatic anyways, it's going to be hard for you because like where my lashes would go would be right where this black is, so you wouldn't even hardly be able to see it anyways. Um, so I'm just going to apply just my regular mascara and do it like that. But if you wanted to go more dramatic and you have short lashes or thin lashes, then I definitely suggest to put on some false eyelashes with this look. Anytime you guys, I'm sure you're like me, you get a little bit of smudgies from your mascara whenever you're doing it. If you'll wait about, you know, 30 to 45 seconds and you'll take a q-tip all you have to do is just wipe it and it comes right off if you do it right away it just smudges and it smears but if you actually let it dry for a few seconds it'll make all of the difference in the world all right so there is the eye look right there now i'm going to do my blush i'm going to be using my sephora ombre obsessions palette i mean you guys know that i love this thing because it has every color that i need in it and because this is a very beautiful pink look, I'm going to be using this hot pink here, and I'll probably also use a combo of this one. Um, I'm going to do this very lightly though because I don't want to look like insanely pink. So I'm just grabbing a little bit at a time, and I will build it and get it to where I want. So for my highlight, I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Highlight in the color Moonstone. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M310 Fan Brush. I love this guy. It's awesome. Um, if you guys are wanting good quality products, um, brushes, Morphe is the way to go. Love Morphe. I'm going to put this right on my cheek. 
take and do it like this. Put it right down the nose. Same areas that you highlight with your concealer. It's the same areas that you want to do here. Forehead, I like to do just a little bit so you don't look greasy. So for lips, it's totally up to you. You can go with a beautiful like pink lip gloss if that's you know kind of like what you'd want to do. These are both NYX cosmetics. Um, this one is in the color Salsa and this one is in the color Chandelier. This one's one of my favorites. So I'll show you what it looks like. Bam. Um, this is personally probably what I would wear because it does look really good with this eye. However, if you wanted to go even more dramatic and you want to do like a really pink lip, NYX has these new ombre lip pencils. It literally comes in all different shades and they have, um, they're double sided. So you have like your dark pink and then you have your light pink. It is so cool. It is so awesome. So like, I'll show you guys a swatch. So there's that. And then there's the pink beside it. So this one I will be using in my other Valentine's Day eye tutorial that I'm going to be doing. Um, but for this look, because of the smoky eyes and everything, I really just want to go with more of a, like a nude pink lip. So that is how I'm going to leave this one for today. So, yeah. So that is it for this look. All right, guys, so that is the finished look for today. I hope that you guys liked it. It is very pretty. It's very sparkly, very glittery, and I know that as a girl, we love that. It's Valentine's Day. You guys can do whatever the heck you want, so just make sure that you rock it out and you do whatever the heck you want. Your man's going to love it regardless. Um, this would be awesome with, like, a little black dress and maybe some hot pink heels and some hot pink accent jewelry. Um, so definitely something to think about on that. Anyways, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next tutorial that I'm going to do before Valentine's Day on the lighter cat eye look that I'll be doing. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a blessed day and a great Valentine's Day. Bye!